All right, we have some broccoli here. We also have some Brussels sprouts. We have some Charizard. And I'm gonna get the ladies to help me put just a few of these down. It's chilly out there, but it's not that cold. And I know we're probably not supposed to, but I think I'm gonna risk it. What we got there, buddy? Oh, tiny relish. No! Oh. <laughs> this is the stuff from last year. <laughs> Look at that! This, so this is how I know we didn't really have a winter. This this stuff survived. Yeah. This what is you how got? Little birds. Oh boy. You got another one? <laughs> All right. This is your dinner. Okay? No. Yes. No. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this dirt here. And we're going to refresh it. Cookie? Come here, baby. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these weeds out of here. So let's go ahead and trash those. And this is the soil from last year. We let it sit out here all winter. And as you can see... <laughs> kitty cat, let me do this. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's actually still pretty good. But I'm still going to add some peat moss and some worm castings to it. <laughs> right, buddy? And we're going to get uh, yeah, some of this stuff right here, down in there. Okay, well, my back hurts. So we have Theodora herself. She's going to teach you how to plant the, the that. Broccoli. You want to plant the broccoli? Broccoli. I love broccoli. This bird has been sitting here all winter. All we need to do is add some peat moss with a knife. Okay. Now what? What are we gonna do with that? Yeah, add in the worm castings. So tell me all about worm castings. What is it? Worm poop. It is what? Uh, what is it? Mm. What is it? What does it do? What does this do for the for the soil? Do you know? No. Use your hands. No. Use your hands. No. <laughs> That's nothing to be worried about. It's just worm poop. We gotta mix it all down. Big hole. Even out the surface. Take a little hole. Put the broccoli in. So, I don't know what we're going to do. So, we're going to take this out. You got to tease out the roots. And why would you want to do that? So, the roots can get out of that environment and understand how this is breaking and this is breaking out. And I don't know. Now, we're going to back to it. Pat it in real good. Push, press it in. Real firm, real firm. Good, did a good job. There you go. Broccoli. And on top, add another handful of worm crackers. Because that is 
totally terrible. So what are you doing now? Mixing it with the top of the soil. Good job. Now we're going to get some rainwater. Hey, you got to talk about this broccoli over here, girl. Over here. This was your project. So I made the soil plant. I planted it. And I could not believe how big it got. Get your shoes on. Today is May 5th, and this is how my broccoli turned out. We placed it in a 10 gallon grow bag. I mixed the soil with my own two hands. There's not even... There's slugs eating my plants! Well, yeah, we do have some holes in here from... Um, it looks like... <laughs> quiet. It looks like some type of slugs, but that's we're going to turn loose the ducks in the garden in a couple of days. But other than that, it looks pretty decent. So, how easy is it to grow broccoli in a container, sweetie? Easy. Easy. Make some dirt, put down a piece of broccoli, and you're ready. Make some dirt down a piece of broccoli and you're ready sounds good so obviously we can call this a success yes it worked out just fine and we're going to keep watching this and in a couple of months uh this is my first time growing broccoli well our first time growing broccoli and we're going to keep an eye on it to see how it comes along but i think she did a fantastic job right theodora right. all right she's back with our kitty cats have you had any experience with growing broccoli in containers? Tell me, how did it turn out? I have two in this one, one in that one. I'm thinking this may be a little too tight, honestly, but I don't know. That's a five-gallon bucket. This is a 20-gallon grow bag. But, you know, it all looks good to me. And as always... Peace from the Garden of Broccoli Dora. Today is the 28th of May. And we're going to finally get that broccoli we've been following this broccoli it actually began to blossom a few days ago now it looks like it wants to go into a bolting stage it looks like it wants to kind of bolt it's not going to be as tender as it would have been had I harvested this uh, a couple of days ago but I'm definitely going to get it now so we're gonna cut right here at the base Looks good. Yeah, Look at that. That's beautiful. We tried to grow broccoli so many times, and I think it only came up because Theodore herself put it down. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. We can have our broccoli and cheese casserole. Yeah. Oh, you gonna make with it? Well, that's what you're gonna make then. Let's get these off here. Try to promote new growth. And they'll continue to grow. I don't, uh, like I said, this is my first time doing broccoli. So I'm assuming it's gonna continue to grow throughout the season. Uh, and we have two broccolis in this bag. Uh, Lieutenant broccoli. Um, I thought I should only have one in here, but it seems to be doing fine. And now we wait for more. And that's it. It's possible. It worked out for us this year. And, and it worked out beautifully. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodore. Today's a good day for us. 
for the first time in the garden of Theodore, we successfully got some broccoli from the yard, from the garden. Look at that. And we also got this lovely red Swiss chard here. And we got this uh, yellow Swiss chard here. And we're going to head inside and you're going to make a what with this? Broccoli casserole. Broccoli casserole. And we're going to, you know, have a salad with this. So, yeah, I think we did good. It's not even summertime yet. <laughs> and don't forget, please subscribe or just hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Feodora.